Hello everyone, welcome to the Packet Tracer Activity 26.2.2 from CCMP and Core Course from Cisco. In this activity, we are going to configure an access control list or actually extended access control list of IB version 4. And it's about also like scenario 2. In the previous video, we implemented or I showed you how to uh, like configure the basic access control list using the question mark to get information more to help you to remind some instructions or commands but today we are also going to deal directly with extended control list we are going to deny some of the um, pcs or surfaces or from the pcs on other servers okay so what we have here we have here the addressing table we have three pcs we have also two servers. The two servers here is like given in this scenario that we only know the IP addresses of them. We have no connection to them. We cannot reach them because they are not belonging to us. Okay, so what is the information here? We only know the IP address of these two um, servers. Okay, what we have in the objectives first, we are going to configure a named extended access control list and then we are going to apply and verify the extended control list so in general you have to put in your mind in most of the cases since it's extended control list so that you are going to put it or configure it to the router close to the source so here we have the sources and this is the router here so now in this case of course uh, this case belongs to the general format that we are going to configure the access control list uh, our all the interfaces on one on the port or some things closest to, or interfaces closest to the source however you will see this in a couple of minutes okay so what we have in the instructions before the instructions let's see the scenario here in this scenario specific devices on the LAN are allowed to various services on servers located on the internet okay Again, we have here, so pieces we need to deny some or allow uh, some surfaces and on the servers. Okay, so what we can see here, we have to first deny PC1 access to HTTP and HTTPS servers on server 1 and server 2. We have two servers here and we need to deny them. Okay, so here we are going also to uh, create a named access control list. On router RT1 which will deny PC1 access to the HTTP and HTTPS services on server 1 and server 2 okay for access control statement are required so here is given that we need to use only four statements or four statements are required okay so what that what is the command to begin to configuration to uh, the configuration of the extended access list with um, access control list so here as you know that the command if you remember like IP access list extended and the name of the access list so here is going to be this one okay so we can do this together here we are we need to type here the command that we need to create this access control list so of course we need IP access list and then extended and then the name of the access control list as is given is going to be this one okay so begin the access control list configuration with the statement that denies access from pc1 to server 1 only for http port 80 as you know Refer to the addressing table for the IP address of PC1 and PC or and the server. Okay, so let's come here. Then enable, then we are configure terminal and then let's copy this one or we can write it here. IP access list, extended access control list. Okay, what we need first, we need to deny TCP because HTTP is a TCP protocol and then we need the IP address of the uh, source and then the IP address of the destination So the IP address of the source here we have this one 
and the destination is this one and the port is given already 80. Okay, so let's take this. Alright, so next enter the statement that denies access from PC1 to server1 and now we have another port which is 443 which is for HTTPS. Okay, let's take this one also. Again, we have here deny, TCP is the protocol and then the source and then the server and then the port number here. In D, enter the statement that denies access from PC1 to server2. Now we are going to repeat the same process but of course with server2. So we need to put the IP address of server2 which is this one here. Okay, so let's take this one here. Again, we have the deny, TCP is a protocol. Here we have the IP address of the source and then we have the IP address of the destination, which is the source here, which is server2. Okay, and here we have also the same for HTTPS. And then we are going to deny PC2 to access FTP servers, services on server 1 and server 2. Okay, so refer to the addressing table to get the IP address of PC2. So it's already given here. So here we have to deny ICMP. Uh, here we have to deny TCP for the service FTP, as you know. And now we have the port number 21. This is for FTP. And here, of course, for server 2. One more time, what we have here, we have the deny and we have the protocol TCP. And then we have the host, which is the source. And then we have the destination or the server, which is this one, and then a port number. Okay, we have also here to deny ICMP on uh, PC3. ICMP is used for ping. So here, this one. We have also the source and then we have the destination here. We don't need to specify a port number because it's only a messaging here for ICMP. Okay, and then finally we have to do the same on server 2 or the same for server 2. Okay, so what we have here, permit all other IP networks. By default, an access list denies all traffic that does not match any rules in the list. Okay, that's clear. Because here, if there's something doesn't match here, it's going to be denied since now we have only deny. So all the packets or all the uh, traffic is going to be denied. Enter the command that permit all traffic that does not match any of the configured access list statement. Okay, that's right. So since here we did only denied, and then we need to, of course, permit all other traffic. And to do this, we can, of course, do a permit like type permit, and then IP, and then any, any again, from any source to any destination, and everything related to IP version 4. Okay, we press enter here. That's very cool. Now let's check our completion. Okay, let's see if we missed something. However, let's continue. I verify the access list configuration before applying it to the interface. To verify the access list, we have two methods. The first one is show access list as we uh, showed you in the previous video. Here, as you can see, you have the sequence of all the access lists. So let's compare. We have 10, 20, we have 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. It's quite good. FTP, FTP, 400, WW, 400, WWW. Okay, so we have this. You can see here we have the sequence number here. Okay, we can also get this list from show running. And then we need to type begin and then access list okay we have here exit list as you can see here we have the same lists from here but the difference is that we don't have here 
like the um, sequence number, which is very important. As you can see here, the difference between the output of the show access list command and the output of the show running configuration command is that the show access list command includes the sequence number assigned to the configuration statement. These sequence numbers enable the editing, deleting, and inserting of a single line within the access list configuration. Okay, so we can use them to delete or to edit the access list. Sequence numbers also define the processing order in, of individual access control statement, starting with the lowest sequence number. So as you can see here from 10 is the lowest. And also, so if you are going to define access list like this and you put this one like before, this one is not going to be like the same result, the output, because it's starting from this in sequence. So 10, this is the first, second one. So in other words, the router is going to check this one first, this one second, third, and, and so on. So it's not correct if you put them out of order. Okay, what we have next? We have to apply and verify the extended access control list. After we already verified them, now we are going to apply them to um, like a, a specific interface, of course. Here, the traffic is going to be filtered from this network. So as you can see here, okay. And it's about denying for remote networks. Appropriate access control list placement depend on the relationship of the traffic with the respect to the RT1 router. In general, as you can see here, extended access list should be placed on the interface closest to the source of the traffic. I'm going to put this one in red, hopefully. Of course, you will have this file in the description box. And here, as you can see here, since it's extended access control list, so you are going to think first to put it on the um, router or interface closest to the network that we are going to uh, like um, put the access control list. Now, according to this, the access control list is going to be in this interface here. Okay, and of course it's in because we are going to put everything here and then so it's in. Okay, so let's do this. Here we need it. Again, since you have this uh, message here, it means that you have put in or you um, gave um, a command that is not understandable by the router. So to get out of from this, press Control in your keyboard, Shift and number six. Your configure terminal. And then we need interface gigabit Ethernet 00. Let's check if it's 00. Yes, it's gigabit Ethernet 00. And then IV access list, of course, the name of the access control list we have given, like we have given already, and then N. All right, so you can see our completion is 100 now. Now we can, of course, uh, test for each access control list. We can, as you can see, access the uh, website server one and server two using the browser on PC one. So let's take this one here, the IP address of server one. And we should have nothing. We have HTTP, then we have HTTPS. As you can see, we couldn't access the server. Okay, now to check that how many packets are like hashed, we can type show access list again. As you can see here, we have now in this case 19 matches. Okay, you can do the same with FTP, you can do the same with um, like um, another PC2, but now let's try with ICMP. Let's come here and let's now ping. Remember, we deny this um, traffic with ICMP. Then we put this one here. As you can see here, it's unreachable. Okay. Now let's come back here and now let's see if we will have matches. Actually, we should have matches here. Okay, let's do this. And you can see here we have now four matches, which are these four. 
Okay, so what else here we have? As you can see here, of course, you can repeat uh, the processes for PC2 and PC3 and then check always the access control list, uh, the matches packets. And then, as you can see here from show access list and the name of the access list, access control list here. Okay, so that's all for this activity. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next activity.